Do you have trouble taking down big bad bugs but want to obtain their rewarding resources? Are you looking for a faster way to provide pallets filled with precious weed stems to your building projects? Or can I interest you in a way to save resources, reach the tallest mountain or porches, and keep those pesky ants from stealing your prized possessions? If you answered yes to one, two, or all of these questions, then you're in luck because here on Tiny Pirate Gaming, grounded themed and grounded related content is basically all that I do. And if you enjoy that, then you could do me a huge favor by gently touching the like button. And I hope that this video earns your subscription today. Now let's move on with today's video. Number 10. Using armor dummies is a convenient way to rapidly swap your armor for a variety of situations. I usually like to build an armor dummy close to the pond outfitted with some extra diving gear to make excursions into the pond more punctual. I also like to build these armor dummies at my build sites outfitted with ant armor to boost my stem and plank carrying capacity when constructing contraptions that can be many centimeters tall. Number 9. Sticking to stems, did you know that you can fill up and relocate stem pallets to further boost your stem collecting crusades? Well, you can. But be aware that if a creature spots you and goes aggro while you're carrying the pallet, it will return to the place that you picked it up from, so be sure to drop it every so often to reset its respawn point in case you encounter an enemy. Oh, and you can also send weed stems down zip lines, which is pretty tipsy tricksy if you ask me. Let's see what Sparkle thinks about that. She's speechless because it's so spectacular. Number eight. Now let's talk about taking down enemies in terrifyingly dark places. It's not fun, but if you look for the tint of the red glowing eyes, you can still bash the buggies with any bashing stick, even if it means putting away your vital lantern for just a moment. Number seven. One of my favorite backyard pastimes, apart from building stuff and bashing bugs, is making bugs bash each other. Instigating a conflict between creepy crawlies is an excellent way to establish the successful and satisfying harvest of bug parts from creatures who may be too tough to tango with for all players, especially those with low tier gear. And if you still need help finding those higher tier resources, you can also check inside of spider sacks, which are known to sometimes drop random, hard to find bug parts such as ladybug heads, stink bug gas sacks, and boiling glands. Number 6 I've said it before and I'll probably most likely and totally definitely say it again, that if you want a fast way to get to any elevated areas and grounded, then I highly recommend using cloverleaf roofs as ramps. They're fast and easy to build, and for the most part, weed stems and clover leaves are readily available almost everywhere in the backyard, so finding the necessary resources is rarely an issue. Also, super secret pro tip, if you build a ramp into the sandbox, you can lure other bugs inside for some super special bug fights. And if you're really lucky, you can catch an antlion in a blueprint. But I honestly have no idea how I did this. What I do know is that in a fight between a bombo and an antlion, the bombo wins. Who'd have thunk it? Number five. On the topic of elevation, were you aware that ants can steal stuff out of your chest if they can reach them? Well, you are now, and sometimes they can even glitch stuff through the walls. They're not just thieves, they're also hackers. A clever way to avoid this is to elevate your bases to a level high enough as to make it impossible for the ants to reach your chest. And if you want to elevate your base to a level over 9,000, I suggest checking out my grounded elevator tutorial that is conveniently linked down below in the description for your clicking pleasure. Number 4. This is an oldie but still a goodie and that is to use your fists instead of tools to clear out the grass stalks. This will save durability on your gear which can be especially helpful if you play on woe mode where weapon durability declines at a devastatingly dangerous rate. Number 3. Much like the pallets, many objects like dew collectors, lean to storage chests, and more can be moved around and relocated at your convenience to accommodate for new building designs or expansions to your established base. 
And sometimes when you move do collectors around, spooky stuff happens. Like googly eye do drops, blah! Number two. I love it when a plan comes together, like when you can get two things for the price of one. I call this the duality. And sometimes you can find a duality with your utilities, like using sap collectors to make a stairway. Do you know any grounded tips and tricks? Do you want to talk about grounded theme, grounded related topics? Or are you a fan of grounded gaming, content creation, and more? Then there's good news because that's basically all that I do here and if you enjoy all of that then you can comment down below what some of your tips and tricks are and while you're down there you can do me a huge favor by gently touching the like button and hopefully this video earns your subscription today. Or you, you can come tell me about it when I'm live over on Twitch or you could, you could tweet it at me or you know what? You, you don't just have to tell me, you could tell the whole hashtag tiny crew by joining the Tiny Pirate Gaming Discord Links to all of those can be found down in the description. Number one. Quick save before battle if you're playing solo, especially in Womo. When playing grounded solo, you have the ability to reload an older save when you fall. Doing so will prevent your equipped gear from taking respawn damage, thusly saving you time and resources by needing less repairs. So next time you're about to start a fight or challenge the Broodmother, pop a quick save. You're not cheating anyone by doing this. This is not a PvP game unless you make it one. But by not doing it, you're letting the game steal your hard-earned resources. Because those, those respawns, oh, the respawn damage is so high, especially in one mode. It's so bad. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. Sparkle. Sparkle knows what I'm talking about. Sparkle understands. It's bad. It's real bad in one mode. It really hurts when you gotta respawn. It really hurts. I hope you enjoyed the video and just know that whether I see you here in the comments, over in the chat on the Twitch sphere, or someplace else around the Streamiverse, I really appreciate all of your support and thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Arg matey, watch your step. There be a tiny pirate here.